In this video, I'll give you an update on the plants in the studio, my book, um, on, on my first time sewing on an overlocker, and take you with me on this Friday in the Shiverdo studio. Good morning on this lovely sunny morning. Hello from the studio and welcome to a new vlog. Um, not really a week vlog because it's already Friday and well the week normally starts on Monday. Um, but I still wanted to do a vlog this week uh, to give you some updates on how things are going over here. And well I'm not taking you with me the whole week but I'll take you with me today. Um, yeah so let's start. Let me put you down here on my very professional camera stand standing on top of my sewing machine. Um, let's start with why it's already Friday. Well on Sunday I did something big. I sent it off my book to my graphic designer. So he's now going to put it all together and make it into a beautiful book. So I sent everything off that I have. All the project instructions, all the pictures, all the illustrations, everything I sent to him. So uh, that's really exciting and it felt like a big <sighs> relief that it's now off um, to someone else to uh, work on it further. So yeah, um, only thing I did not send is the introduction. I, I, I think that's almost the hardest part for me of writing a book writing an introduction. What should be in an introduction? Well, I'm going to finish the introduction today and uh, so then that is also done. So that was Sunday and it was a really big relief. It was something that I have worked on. Well, the idea of the book started three years ago. So already it was a project in the making for a few years. So after that I kind of was very tired and felt like I needed to take it slow this week and also enjoy the feeling of finishing such a big task. So that's what I did this week. So Sunday it was Easter and Monday uh, we have a second Easter day here. We For most holidays we have a second day so we also have second Christmas day. It's not something church related or something just it's added so you have the Monday off after um, a holiday. So Sunday was Easter, second Easter day, well that's a free day in the Netherlands, uh, so he visited his family and Tuesday uh, oh, we had a quilting bee over here and uh, with Sanne and Sanne brought her serger, her overlocker. I'm going to share more on that later in this video. Um, Wednesday I just did some stuff here send out some orders, didn't do much. And then Thursday is always my day with the kids, so no working then. Um, and today, it's Friday. And Friday is always a on and off day for me, um, doing stuff for me, doing stuff with the kids, doing stuff for work. Uh, and today it's also half half. So I'm starting the day in the studio, then I'm going to go with Shul, his class, uh, they're going to visit a farm nearby so I get to drive some of the kids. Uh, so that's fun that I'm going to do later this morning. And then this afternoon again in the studio. So let's see what I can do today. The things I really have to do are email, um, some customer support and oh and the introduction. So those things I have to do, would love to do that this morning. Yeah, the email should be able to do it this morning before I, we go to the farm. Yeah, yeah, so that is, um, well, that's the introduction for this video for today. I'll take you with me. I'll share a little bit more about what I did on the overlocker and um, we'll see how that goes. Yay, that went pretty well. So brought my inbox back to almost empty, not completely empty, I 
do have a few more to do's in there. But that's good. So 10 o'clock, time to go to the farm and um, I'll be back in the afternoon. Back in the studio. It's already half past two. I thought I would do a relaxing afternoon here, but I already was um, pretty busy. Uh, I had briefly contact with the graphic designer and he mentioned, well, there are a lot of pages and that got me thinking that I never really thought about the structure of the book. So I gave the, um, the content a lot of thought, but not really um, how is it structured, uh, what chapters are in there and why. So now everything fell onto its place um, because there's, I want to put a lot of extra in there, but maybe keeping things simple is also a good idea. So of course the sampler is the main thing in the book. And then there will be a few projects which you can make with blocks from the sampler and well and then there's a few other things other projects that are based in a different way on the sampler blocks i'm not going to spill everything yet but uh now it really makes sense so i um removed some really elaborate details about certain projects out from the book and we'll make that an extra on a special website um, so that you have all the ideas in the book but it's um, the focus is still on the sampler and now some of the other projects got so elaborate that the focus that it took a little bit away to focus from the sampler hmm. not sure if that makes sense without you knowing the <laughs> projects that I'm talking about but that meant that I did a deep dive and changed a lot in the documents and uh, sent it all to the graphic designer again today. Today, this afternoon. So, yes. Um, kind of hard work. Head, head work, thinking, space work. Not this kind of chill modus. A cat in a box and a cat on the chair. They are, they know their place in the studio now so well. That's really lovely. <sighs> okay, so for my relaxing afternoon, what was I supposed to do? I was supposed to write my introduction chapter. I'm going to postpone that till Monday so I have a clearer head, mind. Uh, yeah, that's better. Monday morning sounds perfect for writing an introduction. So then I still have to send out the Tackle That Whip email for April. It's already half April, but I just didn't uh, get to it because of finishing the book and being tired from finishing the book. So I will, yes, that will be my have to do to do this afternoon. Uh, maybe I should start with that then. Um, finish it, send it off, and then I get to just, um, how do you say that? I, I know Dutch words for it, but what you do when you are just in a space, looking around, walking around, maybe a little bit rearranging stuff, not really doing anything, but just doing little things. I, I don't know, is there a word in English that describes that? I love to do that in the evenings here. Just be in the studio without a plan and just, um, well, yeah, no clue for the English word. In Dutch we would say, um, een beetje aanrommelen. Yeah, <laughs> I think that's the Dutch word. Uh, that's what I'm going to do after I send off. The tackle that whip email. Oh, and um, I'm, I have no clue if you are if you are quilters or plant people, but a little update on the plants. So it's it's not going well with all of them, but this one is doing well, and this one had that little flower on the end, and now ooh, can we get this in focus? That will be so cool.
There we go. So it had little flowers on the end, and now, look, see, there is already a baby plant. That is so cute. So, so cute and cool. cool. <laughs> I love it when plants make baby plants. So there's more flowers. I'm very curious if all of these white flowers are going to produce a baby plant. So this one is doing pretty well. This one is kind of recovering, I think. So the bottom leaves are not happy. Uh, too little water, too much water. But I hope it's going to start making new leaves. This one, well, let's just not talk about this one. This one is happy. It's happy. And then... I have a curious case over here. So this was my banana plant. And this looks really sad, but to me it looks promising because there were some big leaves over here to the side and they really didn't do well anymore. And the center was all kind of crowded and not letting new leaves through. So I chopped it all off and I thought, well, we'll see what it will do. And this growth, so I chopped it off and the center is growing, I think, well, about an inch now. And that was only in, in three days. So it looks like there, it's still alive. It's still alive and it's growing. So you'll get an update uh, when it has grown its first new leaf. Ta-da! It is so cool. Welcome to the studio, new planty friend. Half past four. I finished the tackle the whip email. Always takes longer than I expect. Um, but that's okay. It's done. It's a fun one. So if you are on the tackle that whip email list, you have it in your inbox. And if you want to join the tackle the whip, you can join any moment. So do sign up for that. I'll put a link in the description down below. Tackle that whip is where we uh, just keep each other motivated throughout this year to work on our whips, our work in progresses. Um, so, yeah, that is kind of the end of uh, this Friday. Um, and let's see, is there something that I wanted to share with you before we close off this vlog? Uh, yes, there is. Um, so, this weekend I send off my book to the graphic designer, so finished a big chapter on that and I didn't do much quilting lately. But to keep my hands a little busy and my mind at ease, I did do uh, some sewing, but I didn't do quilting. I did, um, is it called dressmaking, if you're making not only dresses? So I sewed, sewed clothing. I made two dresses for Ella and I'm working on two sweatpants, one for me and one for Ella. It has been so much fun. I have this serger that I'm borrowing from Sonne and it is lovely. I never expected a serger to be so awesome for sewing knit fabric. <laughs> I'm really a kind of I have been a quilter only until now, because now I'm in love with a serger. Um, I, I always thought, well, I can also manage finishing off the seams with my Bernina normal sewing machine. And I can finish off seams with knit fabric with a normal sewing machine, but the serger, it's made for it. So it's kind of like, yeah, obvious that that <laughs> would do a better job, but it really is lovely. So let me show you. I don't have the the dresses here that I made, but uh, I have here a very cool project. So this is the mini joggers, sweatpants that I'm making for Ella. This is a pattern by Brindle and Twig. I will also put a link uh, down below. I love their patterns. I'm not sponsored or anything. Um, I just have a lot of them and I love it. It even has pockets. And there's a fun little detail, um, don't know if you can see it on the knees over here. It does need um, the, the <laughs> my brain is not working anymore. What is it called? The band that you have here, waistband. 
and it needs cups but it's the mini version of my sweatpants and the sweatpants that I'm making pretty proud of it because I'm remaking my favorite pair of sweatpants so I had a pair of sweatpants doesn't look like much from the video I guess I had a pair of sweatpants from a Dutch brand and I always have been looking to see if they would remake it I will wear it in a vlog when it's done but it's it's such a fun style it's it's um, very baggy at the top but also has big cuffs and the fit was just great so I cut my well-loved um, sweatpants apart and I'm remaking it so um, it's going really well and especially with these seams so this is what the serger does the overlocker and it is wonderful and then I'm finishing off the seams with a double um, stitch with a twin needle uh, with the normal sewing machine oh I'm loving this so this was a very fun side project that I have been doing these few weeks and I have did I show it already to you in this video I have this huge pile of knit fabric so I can make many many more many many more projects with that so yeah now maybe I have to get an overlooker too <laughs> oh I really loved working on it so yeah we got the book covered we have a day here in the studio updated updated you on the plans yeah I guess that's it for today so oh yes I wanted to ask you if you're watching and if you have not pressed the subscribe button yet <laughs> please do click it it is free and what it does it helps me uh, get more reach on YouTube so when you click that you say to YouTube I like this video um, I like sugar you videos and then YouTube will show it to more quilters so that would mean a lot to me um, you can also click the little like button if you like this video Thank you so much, have a wonderful weekend and I'll see you again in another video in another week in the Shibiru Studio. Bye!